Hello. Thank you so much for joining us here in Dallas, Texas, on the Valder Beebe Show, broadcasting on a global platform. How are you today? I'm fantastic. Thank you, Valder. It's great to be here. Great. Who do I have in the studio with me? Uh, this is Dr. Wayne Anderson. Dr. Anderson, they told me you were the co-founder and the medical director of Take Shape for Life. That's correct. Yeah, I'm a critical care physician. I actually helped pioneer that specialty. Uh, but about 15 years ago, I left that to focus on helping people create health in their life. And, you know, that's why we're here today. We're celebrating tomorrow National Optimal Health Day about helping people become more aware of their health and then making the choice, making the decision to start adding and getting started and adding new habits of health to their own life. All right. Well, I'm your girl and my people are your audience. Go ahead. Hit cool. us with it. What can we do? Cool. Well, that's great. <laughs> Thank you. God, it's, you sound so friendly. And that's, uh, that's part of it. It's actually hanging out with people that are uh, positive-minded, that want to make an improvement in their health, uh, then making the decisions to make small incremental choices that will help you move forward. So I'm challenging people to do something as simple as one push-up. You know, starting tomorrow, do one push-up a day. Because one push-up a day is something we can all do. And when you get down at night and you haven't done it before you get in bed, do that one push-up. Uh, it puts you in position, and then you mark that off on the calendar, and you look back three or four weeks later, and you see, wow, I did that every day. And it actually fundamentally starts changing the way our brain is programmed. And then you'll start adding other things. And when you're down doing the one push-up, you might do more than one, because once you do, you say, ah, this isn't so bad. It's really that anticipation that uh, puts us in that procrastination mode where we don't do stuff we need to do. So by becoming aware, doing that one push-up or whatever you want to do in terms of what you eat, how you move, how you sleep, how you handle stress, all those things can start you on a path towards optimal health. You, this is so exciting for me as, you know, like I said, I'm your optimum audience and my audience hopefully is. I'm trying to do the same, th well, I am striving to do the same thing. Let me change my language, <laughs> Dr. Anderson. I have this thing called take over life and I'm asking people to take over anything they've lost control of and you know exercise is the first thing to go. Exactly. Well, that and, and what they put in their mouth, those two things together. Uh, you know, we talk about, you know, feet and forks, you know, right? It's about what we put in our mouth, how we move. Uh, and then I'd like to add on to that how we sleep. People don't realize that how we sleep makes all the difference. When we sleep well, more likely to get up with more energy, more likely to be more active, we're more likely to eat healthier um, and also handle stress better. So uh, don't, don't forget about sleep. That's important too. But I love how you change your language because language really influences how we think. Try. Don't try to do anything. Do. You know, do or don't do, but don't try. Try gives you an out. And what we want to do is, we call those should heads, right? You should do this and I should do that. What we want to do is make sure we decide and then we actually do it. So make the decision, you know, tomorrow or, or you can do it today. You don't have to wait till tomorrow, but tomorrow National Optimal Health Day, you know, take shape for life. We're basically focused on our coaches going out and helping Americans become aware and fundamentally taking control of their, their life. You're right. You're the dominant force in your life. Play above the line. Be responsible. Uh, don't blame it on anything else or any other person. You're the one that decides what goes in your mouth, how you move your feet, how you handle stress, and how you sleep. Dr. Anderson, this is so exciting to me, especially the one push-up. That's really exciting to me because I can do one. But if you just said, you know, ten push-ups, you know, then you would have lost a lot of people. Exactly. One push-up is it's a great start for people. It's a great start and what it happens is it actually starts changing your habits. You know, 45 percent of what we do throughout the day uh, is unconscious. So if we can bring back into awareness, that's the other thing. Become aware. Stop letting that systemic thinking go on. Let your mind play out that dialogue. Become aware. Take a deep centering breath and say, okay, what, where am I right now in my day? Can I take some deep breaths, handle the stress, and can I decide to do one thing? Just take a break every so often and do one thing that supports your health. Those little things over time make all the difference in the world. Okay, tomorrow is Ap uh, Optimal Health Day, correct? Yeah, National Optimal Health Day, that's right. Okay, but what do they do the day after, Dr. Anderson? Well, if you, do, if you decide today or tomorrow to do that one push-up, okay, then the next day you do that push-up, and the next day you do that push-up, and that anticipation is the part that really keeps people from doing it, but we can all do one push-up. So when you're doing that one push-up, then maybe do two push-ups or maybe three push-ups. And then as you look at your calendar, you say, wow, over the last three weeks, I've done, uh, I've done a push-up every single day. Let me start modifying what I do. Let me eliminate eating those, uh, take one of those diet sodas away, or even a regular soda if you're you, still using regular sugar. Uh, and the other thing is get some help. You know, we have health coaches all over the country. Uh, we're very excited. We have a lot in your area that will be able to stand by and 
help you become accountable and literally help people start focusing on what's necessary. Once you get in the habit of it, we install new habits, the habits of health. You know, I wrote a book called Dr. A's Habits of Health that has all this outlined in it and our coaches actually deliver that for our clients and our patients. Sounds good. Where can they go and find this support information because, you know, we're, we're a village kind of mentality in America. We don't think we are, but we are, because if the other people are doing it, we'll do it. That, you know, and that is so important. We are highly influenced, and we talk about a Take Shape Life optimal health community. When we have people start focusing on it, then people, it's contagious. We actually affect the moods and influence the emotions of the people around us. So uh, takeshapeforlife.com is a great place you can go. You can find a health coach. You can uh, take, uh, get more information. I actually have a well-being evaluation there uh, that comes from my books. And it actually allows you to evaluate where you are in terms of your status and the key well-being areas of your life. And then puts you in position to use this as a vehicle and to start moving in the direction to improve our health. You know, what we need to do is become, as I love what you say, we need to be the dominant force in our lives and uh, be personally responsible. And if we're not going to do that, then we're not going to be successful. So we, we, we grease the skids on that and make it easier for our clients and our patients uh, to create health in their life, give them the support necessary, and then the blueprint through the Habits of Health will put them on schedule so they can, over time, add these small little pieces together which make all the difference. Dr. Anderson, you are truly, truly my interview of today. I was told if I would build a health channel, people would come, and you are coming. Great. Thank you so much for being a part of this. It was my Thank pleasure. you for inspiring us. My pleasure. Thank you so much for having me.